If you want to effectively share the gospel, then you need to know the gospel. This includes having at least a basic understanding of sin and how Jesus saves us. That's what I'm going to be talking about in this video as I share a clip with you from my video entitled, Five Steps to Share the Gospel. But before I do that, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Now for the clip. Number two, understand the gospel. Understanding the gospel is crucial when it comes to sharing your faith. The Apostle Paul summarized the gospel in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 1 through 4, stating, Moreover, brethren, I declared to you the gospel which I preached to you, which also you received, and in which you stand, by which also you are saved, if you hold fast the word which I preached to you, unless you believed in vain. For I delivered to you first of all that which I also received, that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, and that He was buried, and that He rose again the third day according to the Scriptures. The word gospel means good news and it's in reference to the story of Jesus' death for our sins, burial, and resurrection, which gives us hope in eternal life. The gospel and the savior of the gospel is what you must believe in order to be saved. For example, Romans chapter 1 verse 16 says, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God to salvation for everyone who believes for the Jew first, and also for the Greek. And John chapter 3 verse 16 tells us, For God so loved the world, that He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever believes in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Other requirements of the gospel include repenting from your sins and confessing them to God in prayer to receive forgiveness. Acts chapter 3 verse 19 says, Repent therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out. And 1 John chapter 1 verse 9 says, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And in case you're wondering what sin is in particular, sin is breaking God's law of Ten Commandments. 1 John chapter 3 verse 4 states, Whoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law. I've had people in the past ask me, how can you be sure that the law mentioned in 1 John chapter 3 verse 4 is in reference to the Ten Commandments? And if you have any doubts about that, Romans chapter 7 verse 7 should clear that up. There the Apostle Paul wrote, What shall we say then? Is the law sin? Certainly not. On the contrary, I would have not known sin except through the law, for I would not have known covetousness unless the law had said, You shall not covet. Covetousness is identified as a sin here, and you shall not covet is the tenth commandment. You can read all of the ten commandments in Exodus chapter 20 verses 1 through 17, and they prohibit things like putting other things before God in your life, taking God's name in vain, lying, stealing, dishonoring your father and mother, and more. These are sins that I'm pretty sure most of us have committed in our lives. As a matter of fact, Romans chapter 3 verse 23 tells us, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. So we are all guilty of sinning. There isn't anyone besides Jesus who has lived a sinless life. And on top of that, Romans chapter 6 verse 23 says, The wages of sin is death. So, without Jesus, we stand as sinful and under the condemnation of God's law, which requires the penalty of death for those who have broken it. When you witness to someone, the quicker you bring them to the realization of that fact, the quicker the Holy Spirit can convict them of their hopeless condition, and then you can share what Jesus has done for them and encourage them to repent and accept Jesus to be saved. If you want to learn more about how to share the gospel effectively, click on the screen to watch my entire video outlining five steps to share the gospel. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like it and share it. Thank you for watching and God bless you.